You probably just finished school, or maybe you're a family looking for a new place to settle down. You likely dream of a city with great charms and a lovely atmosphere. A place where you can get home fast from work to see your beautiful family. You dream of a land where the weather is friendly and houses are affordable. Well, those are nice dreams, but in Atlanta, they're just that, dreams. So let's leave the dream world for a moment and discuss reality. Here's the top 10 reasons why Atlanta might not be the best place for your dreams. Number one, growing too fast. Well, who knew growing too fast would be a bad thing? But if you've tried having a pet as a child, then you would understand how things can be very scary when they grow out of hand. This is one of the major problems with Atlanta, Georgia. How so? Well, for starters, you have on your hands a city with 14 counties that spread across 50 miles in all directions. It has a growing population that is well over 5 million, and that's been a result of its success. Unfortunately, though, there are many other aspects of life which have made it difficult to move with the rate of influx. This has made even the most desirable of things in the city undesirable, to a degree. Number two, the job rate. Atlanta has one of the best and booming economies in the country. Its job market is a great one, and it's provided thousands of jobs that have decided to make the city their home. But ever since the recession in 2007, it has experienced a downhill in the market power. Now, that hasn't stopped people from coming into the city, because they didn't hear the news. This has ended up leading to an overwhelming number of job seekers in the city. So, to simply put, there are jobs in Atlanta, but the number of people looking for jobs is far greater than the city can provide. So, I wouldn't get my hopes up if the goal was to get a job in a week after moving. Dear oh dear, it might take a lot longer. Number three, housing. The next thing that people worry about after considering the job opportunities is housing. Well, it just so happens that Atlanta presents its headache in this regard. If you end up making a research about the city, you find that the housing cost is about 2% more than national average, which sounds like a good thing, right? Well, wait until you hear the rest before you're nodding that lovely head of yours. You'd have better chances at finding a snowball in a desert than finding an affordable home in Atlanta that is available for rent or even sale. The prices of houses that are available have skyrocketed through the years. Number four, the city layout. Ah, uh, yes. Let's leave the job in the house. How about we focus on the city and how easy it is to move around? Well, newsflash, it's not really that easy. Part of that is due to the messy spaghetti roads around the city. And this is dating back to the founding of the city. It's a long story that talks about the city planning and the railroads, how one had affected the other, how there was change in the plans, you know, the usual. Now, we don't want to bore you with all that, as it doesn't change the fact that the roads are messy. You don't have a lane for walkers and bikers, even. Your main means of transportation is by car, which brings us to the next problem. Number five, traffic. I knew it. I bet you that's what you said, right? Yep. That's what we said, too. It is often said that in Atlanta, you walk not too far from your home. This is because of the heavy traffic that has ruled the city. And sure, every city does have its level of traffic during the rush hours, and Atlanta is no exception. But the rush hour is not so much the problem here. What does a 1 p.m. gridlock sound like to you? Strange, isn't it? Well, that strange is the norm in this city. And that's because there are too many cars on the road at any given time. Why? Well, because the other means of transportation aren't really the best. And that brings us to number six, transportation. Yes, the public transportation of Atlanta. Look, don't smile yet. It's not what you think it is. The train system in the city is known as the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority, also known as MARTA. MARTA is one easy way when moving from here to there in the city, but it leaves you with two major problems in your bid to race ahead of time and be able to beat traffic. 
for starters, the stations are spread out throughout the city. So you might take a car uh, or, well, walk at your peril to the station before boarding the train to your destination. And number two, the train routes are limited and they don't run as frequently as they should. So chances are that you won't get to where you need with MARTA. If you ask us, MARTA doesn't really matter. Number seven, extreme weather. Nature itself adds to the issue at hand. In Atlanta, or Atlanta, as the locals love to say, the weather can be unbearable, to put it mildly. Summertime in Atlanta is always hot, with temperatures going well above 70 degrees for weeks. The 70% humidity also makes staying outside for too long an extreme sport. While locals have found a way to survive by moving from air conditioner to air conditioner, it might be quite difficult for somebody that's new to the area. Well, what about snow? They gotta have that, right? Well, Atlanta doesn't have that very often, which explains why the city always shuts down when it does happen. Number eight, allergies. Really? Yes, really. It shouldn't be strange to find this one on the list, as the mixture and combination of too much smoke and dust in the air makes it especially horrible during the hot times, and that can only mean one thing. If you stay outdoors for too long, you'll end up finding yourself coughing and sneezing to death. The eyes will become very red and teary, your cheeks are swollen and discolored, and, well, you know the rest. Even those with a strong immune system have experienced one form of allergy or the other when they move to this city. Number nine, crime. You probably thought this would never be part of what you need to worry about. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but truth be told, like we've been telling you all this time, the crime rate is not too high compared to other big cities in the country. While you might not need to worry about serious and crazy crimes, things like property theft is on the rise. Like other major cities with a large economy and a high number of rich folks, there is a chance that you might be robbed of your wallet every now and then, or maybe come home to find the door open. It's nothing serious to be fair, but you'd fare much better elsewhere. Lastly, number 10, losing its charm. Atlanta used to be a cool city with normal people giving off two seconds to greet you while you wave before going to work, but that's all but gone now. Also, the city used to be filled with cool, old, monumental structures that were the charm of the city. But bit by bit, these buildings are being demolished to give way for some new offices and corporate buildings. While developers are knocking down a bungalow by the left, the charming hotel on the right is getting sold out. And we both know what's going to replace them. The city will gradually become a shadow of its former self. So there you have it. Those are 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to Atlanta, Georgia.